Hi, yeah, thank you for turning on the DVD and for being part of a small group. I trust that as you walk together and, and share life together that your uh, fellowship will become deeper and that, that the reality of God with you will become stronger uh, as you go through this. And that's the theme that we're looking at uh, this term or this beginning of this term. We're looking at fellowship and particularly in 1 John chapter 1 and the heading in my Bible is Walking in the Light and it's, it's a powerful title because it's part of the text. Um, if we walk in the light as he is in the light we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus his son purifies us from all sin. And, and this concept of walking in the light because he's in the light. We talk to me about being open, we talk about being transparent, we talk about being a person who, who doesn't have secrets, a person who you see what you get. There's, there's no shades uh, of, of deception in them. And, and that's the sort of character that John's talking about, walking in, in the light. Because God is light, he said, and in him is no darkness at all. Yeah, I mean, on um, what you were saying about secrets, in James 5, I think it says about, um, you know, confessing our sins to each other. And um, in fellowship, we can do that in our small groups. Um, maybe you want to share some stuff that's going on in your life. And then through that, we can, we can work out how we can, you know, get back to what the Bible says about walking in the light. Absolutely. And um, yeah. Yeah, ab absolutely. It, this, this whole thing is, is exactly that. It's we're walking in the light, the light of Christ, because God is light and in him is no darkness at all. We'll, we'll look at that next week and, and how we get to that place of walking with Christ who is the light. But there it talks about having fellowship with one another. And, and then he immediately starts talking about sin. And, and I don't think he's talking about um, you know, the, the deliberate, hurtful stuff that we do to each other. I think he's talking about our character stuff, the, 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 maybe what we would consider the small things, the stuff that, that we know we need forgiving for, but more than that, we need purifying from. Because uh, he talks about forgiveness at one point in this passage. He's faithful and just and will forgive us our sins. But he talks about purification a, a couple of times in that verse and in the verse that we've just read, the blood of Jesus, his son, purifies us from all sin. That's a cleansing process. Purification takes a while. Purification is when the, the, we allow the heat to be on and the gold gets purified. There's something about a process of walking in the light with each other that does that. And uh, that's what we're going to be looking at tonight. Mm, and in your small groups, obviously, you're um, looking at how you can be better disciples of Christ. And... Um, Obviously, we want to see real transformation with that. So, sin aside, um, we want to be better people. Yeah. And, um, yeah, whether that's doing more of the good stuff, more disciplines, or doing less of the bad stuff, um, you know, we're transforming to become more yeah. like him, Absolutely. walking in the light. Absolutely, absolutely. So the first thing it says is, if we claim to be without sin, we deceive ourselves, the truth is not in us. So the first thing is to recognise that we're not perfect, which for most of us isn't a problem, at least theoretically, but, but often we live practically as if we are, that there's nothing to learn, nothing to grow into, nothing to change, that we're okay. And, and John is really quite strong on this, that if we claim to be without sin, then, then the truth isn't in us at all, that, that we're missing out completely on allowing the truth of Christ to shine into our hearts and to make us that better person. And, and that claim to be without sin, as I say, it's not something we go around doing a lot, but practically, let's be open and honest about the fact that, yeah, we have messed up, that we do get it wrong, that there are times when we wish we'd said or done something differently, that there are things in us that seem to be part of us that, that we don't like and we don't think God likes, because uh, that's the first step to walking in the light. Yeah, and we're all inherently fallen, and I mean, the only one that was perfect was Jesus. He was the only one without sin, as it says in Hebrews. And um, so we've got to be open and vulnerable to what the Spirit is leading us to change in our lives, because there's always stuff we can do to get closer and closer. Yeah. to what he was like. And then he goes on to say, if we confess our sins, 
And this is all in the context of walking in the light, being together, fellowship with each other. So this isn't just confession to God, this is confession to each other. And, and it says, if we confess our sins, he that God is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins. So that's good news, forgiven, clean, sorted, done, righteous, pure, no condemnation. And then it says, he will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. If we claim we haven't sinned, we make him out to be a liar and the word has no place in our lives. So I guess it works something like this, that we say that I lost it last night because the kids were playing up. It always seems to happen on a Wednesday when they've been swimming and, and everyone's tired and there's no time to cook food and they're all hungry. And, and, and the supportive group will say things like, yeah, we, we all get tired, yeah, we all lose it, yeah, it's hard for us when we um, when, when we're, we've had a bad day, when there's no time, we, we realise what, what it's like when the pressure's on. And, and the danger is that we leave it at that and we just understand each other. But, but uh, if we're walking in the light, someone will say something like, you're better than that, or I know that's not what you're normally like, or what strategies have you got to, to avoid that? How can we change that? And an even better group would start to say, how can we support you to make a difference there. What if we texted you on Wednesday at nine o'clock, say how you got on? What, what if, if we um, prayed for you every, every night at around sort of 6.37 when, when the pressure's on here? What if we made a commitment and just set it on our phones now to pray for you? W would that make a difference? And I'm pretty sure that when you meet next week and, and you've gone through that process and you've prayed for each other and you've done the WhatsApp group stuff and you've, you've asked each other how you're doing, that you will see that God is purifying you because you're walking in the light. Because someone was bold enough to confess that they struggle on a Wednesday when the kids are tired and hungry and exhausted through swimming. And, and that, that example is a very simple one, but, but that applies to all of us at different levels and, and in all of our lives. And that, I think, is walking in the light, finding people that you can be that honest with. Yeah, I think um, obviously part of our call to discipleship is to be disciple-making disciples. So um, it's really good um, that we can be really practical in helping each other um, pursue that calling to walk in the light. Mm. Um, yeah, yeah. So, so I just want to challenge you really to talk about the areas that you struggle with, talk about the things that you regret, talk about the stuff that you've done wrong, talk about the things that, that, that you found hard not to condemn each other because there's no condemnation because we're in Christ Jesus God has forgiven us we've heard that but to help purify each other to help walk in the light and then it says that um, if we if we do that oh lost me place it says if we do that then the word will dwell amongst it we his if we don't do it his word has no place in our lives if we do do it his word does have place in our life and the word of God the promises of God the the blessing of the the truths of God, that will flourish in us as we do that. And he says, my dear children, I write this to you so that you won't sin. And then he goes on to say, if anyone does, we have an advocate who speaks with, with the Father in our defence. So this isn't a heavy thing to get, but this is a releasing thing to help us to walk in the light, in fellowship together. And uh, that's because we have fellowship with Christ, uh, with the Father and with Jesus Christ. And we'll look at that next week. See you in a bit. Bless you. Bye-bye.